Well, they did, and we never did get their press figured out. Um, I just thought we were very, very um, lacking in aggression against the press. We were very unorganized. We came to our offensive end of the floor, and there really were, most things were somewhat unrecognizable to me, and so that's problematic. And then, of course, on the, on the other end of the floor, I mean, I thought at times we played some decent defense, but we gave up 24 offensive rebounds, I think, and that's, that's our nemesis. We've been talking about it. And, um, and I think the other thing that, that, uh, that we didn't do well in the second half from a defensive standpoint was when we rotated, we didn't have somebody else to rotate down and, and box, excuse me, and, and take the little dump pass. So they got to the rim a little bit, re, we rotated, and they ended up with layups. Uh, last week in the exhibition was the first half, and you got things going. Uh, maybe they, I guess maybe they thought coming out in the second half, it would kind of be easy, you get the roll. But Jackson State, you're, you're moving up to a Division One team. This Division One athletes, and we talked in the pregame, pretty solid team that won 15 games last year. They are, and they've got they've got two players that they didn't have a year ago. So a junior college player and, and another transfer. So those two kids gave us fits. Number one, got her feet in the paint anytime she wanted to. And then, like I said, they had a they had a Memphis kid here. I don't know how many rebounds she ended up with, but she was a beast on the boards. And... Uh, I don't know. I'm disappointed because that's all we talked about was boxing out. Very late, though. You got some big free throws from Taylor and, and Jamira tonight. Yep. Taylor did a great job. She hit the free throws when she had to. Um, or she hit them all night. Jamira hit them when she had to. And um, I thought Kiana Coomber came in. I thought she gave us a spark on defense just about all night long. She went to the glass. And we've got to have that kind of energy and that kind of effort from more players on our team. That's what I'm disappointed about. We're playing lackadaisical and and without a lot of energy and a, and, and a lot of passion, and, and, and that's concerning to me. How good can Kiana Coomer be? I, I was really impressed with her, like you said, off the bench tonight. Very steady on offense, plays solid defense as well. Well, really what we need to get her to do is we got to put her in a position to get a three in the air. I mean, that's what she's going to do great on offense. Um, and she's also going to offensive rebound well. Um, on, on the defensive end of the floor, I mean, she's just energy. She plays hard. She gets her hands on loose balls. She's diving. She's making things happen. And so we, I've got to find a way to, to, to I got to find a way to get her on the floor more yeah. because she's being effective. And, and as we talked about in the pregame, it's going to be a work in process building the depth of the post. You've got some post players, but you, they've got to get up to speed uh, with the rest of the team. We do our post players as we went through the game tonight. Um, they weren't able to stay with the game, and that's uh, that's our nemesis. We've talked about our fitness level and. And uh, that's something that we work on every day. But at, at the end of the day, they have to, they have to take um, responsibility for their own fitness. And um, we got some work to do there. Arkansas State, a 5.30 game Monday. Brian Boyer has done a tremendous job. He's been over there around 20 years now in Jonesboro. They are a consistent uh, postseason team over there. That's going to be quite the challenge of the competition. So. They're a very good defensive team, very aggressive. Um, they're going to give us a lot of pressure in the lanes. Um, they'll watch this tape tonight, and they'll put in a diamond press or a two-two-one press, and and so we're going to have to we're going to have to manage that. But he's he's got his two leading scores back, and and we know he he coaches tough nosed basketball. All right, coach. Thanks a lot. We'll let you.